I'm glad that this question has come up. Uh, I've, this has been something that has been going around quite a lot about Imam Al-Ghazali. And may Allah have mercy upon him and regard, with regards to his stance on musical instruments. So, Imam Al-Ghazali in his book Al-Ihya and his other books of, that is written in particular with the Shafi'i Madhab, namely Al-Basit, Al-Wasit and Al-Wajiz, okay? In all of those books, uh, I haven't read the Wasit is actually available. The Basit is available in manuscript form and Al-Wajiz it's available as well. Uh, but... In all of them spaces, like, let me speak in particular with Ihya. Imam Ghazali only permitted what the Shafi'i Madhab already permitted. He did not permit anything beyond what the Shafi'i Madhab permitted. Some people have misunderstood this statement of Imam Ghazali because they've read Ihya, and when they've come to the chapter of musical instruments, Imam Ghazali is speaking about the benefits of musical of music and okay, music in general, and. I don't really, I don't recall him mentioning about the alat except before that, meaning the instruments. If the person just looked a few pages before that, when he spoke about the benefits, just look a few pages before that and look at what he speaks about with instruments. He is clearly mentioning at the instrument stage that what is permitted is everything is I, what is permitted is only the duff in the Shafi'i school. The duff is the only thing permitted. And there's a difference of opinion with regards to the flute, where there's a difference between Imam Rafi'i and Imam Nawawi. And Imam Nawawi and Rafi'i differed on this, and Imam Nawawi said it's prohibited, and the Madhab went with Imam and Nawawi on this position. So therefore, all other musical instruments, apart from the duff, is prohibited in the Shafi'i school. And Imam Ghazali, he basically just mentioned the same stance as I've just mentioned here. Then he went and spoke about music. Now, when he's speaking about music in light of that, the benefits of that, he's talking about it from this angle. Meaning when he says music is allowed, he's not saying music is allowed in, its general, in, a, in the general sense. He's talking about music in the, with, and if you're talking about instruments with those instruments that he mentioned before. Okay, not that he's permitting it in general. So this is very important because many people have misunderstood the statement of Imam al-Ghazali. Okay, so first and foremost, Imam Ghazali has permitted musical instruments in line with what the Shafi'i Madhab has already permitted anyway, which is the only musical instruments that are permitted in the Shafi'i school is a duff, okay, as in like a drum. And the drum, is on the, all drums are permitted except for one particular drum which is not allowed in the Shafi'i school, it's the drum that has a, a wide head or bass, a wide drum, okay, and a narrow stem. If any drum has a very narrow, or a narrow stem and a wide head, this one's not permitted. Otherwise, every other drum is permitted. And as I mentioned, the flute, uh, meaning string instruments are not permitted. The flute, there's a difference of opinion and the strongest position and upon its fatwa is that the flute is also prohibited in the Shafi'i school. Okay, um, so Imam Ghazali says exactly what the Madhab has already said. 